Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Greg Pak's Darth Vader series continues on with issue 7, and it was another solid installment. The issue sees Darth Vader encountering a very interesting character that connects the story to the rise of Skywalker, which we'll get to later in the video. For now, let's dive into Darth Vader number 7 and see what the issue has in store for the Dark Lord of the Sith. The issue opens with Darth Vader recounting the events immediately following when he and the 501st stormed the Jedi Grand Temple on Coruscant and killed all within. Vader recalls Sidious telling him to go and bring peace to the Empire, and we then transition to Vader slowly crawling towards the ruins of the Techno Union installation as his suit and cybernetics were damaged by Sidious' last issue. As he slowly makes his way towards the installation, Ochi of Bestoon, Sith Assassin, is on his tail to hunt him down. Since Sidious is punishing and testing Vader for his actions earlier in the series, where he searched for answers regarding Padme and Luke and let Sabe live. All the while, Vader contemplates that he shall never know peace, which my man is right, that is until Luke helps bring him back to the light side. Once inside the ruins of the Techno Union installation, memories swirl within Vader of when he killed the Separatists who waited for his arrival, and you could see how, as he slaughtered the Separatists, he was plagued by his murderous rampage against the Jedi younglings at the Jedi Temple. I've said this ad nauseum at this point, but these moments are one of the things that make me love this series. In Revenge of the Sith, we saw Vader crying after he finished slaughtering the Separatists on Mustafar, and it's implied that he was obviously distraught about what he's become and what he's done. I love that this issue hammers home that point even more. Even as Vader did what he thought was best to help him save Padme's life, he still knew it was terribly wrong, and those decisions and events still haunt him. Anyway, as he continues deeper into the facility, Facility, Vader even encounters the decayed corpse of Viceroy of the Trade Federation, Newt Gunray. Vader then captures a mouse droid, which he uses to gather components from various droids to replace his damaged limbs and cybernetics. Ochi of Bestoon soon appears, informing Vader he gave him time to try to repair himself so that he could put up a good fight against the Sith Assassin. As Ochi closes in on Vader, the Sith Lord sneaks up on the unsuspecting Assassin and the two begin their duel. Ochi soon introduces himself to Vader, telling him he's an assassin of the Sith and the last face Vader will ever see. I guess when you're a Sith assassin, cockiness and arrogance must come with the territory. Vader then belittles Ochi and tells him that he's nothing to Sidious other than someone to use and throw away when they're no longer needed. Ochi bites back at Vader, however, telling the Sith Lord that's what Sidious has done to him because Vader has become weak. Vader then reappears, grabs Ochi by the throat with his new droid arm, all while he's standing in lava. My man is tripping. Vader wants to know what Sidious wants, to which Ochi tells him that he wants Vader dead. But Vader wants to know Sidious's true intentions beyond Vader's death. Ochi goes on a rant about how powerful Sidious is and that Vader can't beat him because of what Sidious is building, which piques Vader's curiosity. Before Vader can find out what and where Sidious is building, they're interrupted by a peculiar being's voice. Wanting to know who this being is, Vader heads towards a cave where the being's voice came from, but Ochi shoots at the entrance of the cave to barricade it and prevent Vader from entering. Vader then tosses his lightsaber at Ochi, but Ochi is able to catch it, which, damn man. As Ochi stammers on about how he told Vader he'd be the last face the Sith Lord would ever see, Vader jumps into the mouth of the cave as rocks and boulders fall on him. As the Sith Lord picks himself up from the rubble, the being from earlier continues to speak, asking Vader if he'd throw his life away to merely speak to this being. And once Vader travels deeper into the cave, we see that it's none other than the Eye of Webbish Bog before the issue ends. Oh hell yeah, brother. Even though it's been known for some time that the Eye of Webbish Bog would be appearing in this series, I was still super excited to see their inclusion in this issue. The Eye of Webbish Bog was introduced into canon in the Rise of Skywalker novelization and actually appeared in a deleted scene for the film. One of my favorite moments in the Rise of Skywalker novelization was the scene where Kylo Ren encountered and spoke to the Eye of Webbish Bog, so I was very excited when we learned several weeks ago that they'd appear in issues of Darth Vader. In the Rise of Skywalker novelization, we learn that Darth Vader had decreed that the Eye of Webbish Bog would be responsible for his Sith Wayfinder's guardianship. The Eye would have to protect it from those seeking the secrets stored within the artifact, which of course is knowledge and information on how to traverse the dangerous path through the unknown regions that would lead to the hidden world of the Sith, Exegol. I'm hoping that we're going to possibly learn about Vader's Sith Wayfinder and how he acquired it. I'm assuming Sidious will give it 
it to him after he's proven himself worthy to his master and I'd love to see him travel to Exegol. I've stated this several times in my videos discussing this series, but I love how Greg Pak has done a great job of connecting this series with the prequel trilogy and issue 6 and this issue are now providing some connective tissue to the sequel trilogy, which I love. Additionally, I'm assuming that the power that Oshi says the Emperor is building is in reference to the second Death Star, which, damn. Does that mean that Sidious started building the second Death Star without Vader's knowledge? It'll be interesting to see if that's the case. All in all, this was a fun issue and, as always, I can't wait for Darth Vader number 8 to be released next month. But what are your thoughts about this issue and what do you think about the Eye of Webbish Bog appearing at the end? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe and stay nerdy.